come in, come in. Welcome and congratulations once again, Marcus. What is troubling you, Marcus? You ought to be the happiest man in Rostock, considering what you achieved last season. Well, Herr Rolf, I'm going to be frank with you. How much money do I have at my disposal? We need at least a new keeper, two defenders, a midfielder and a solid striker. What do you mean, Marcus? Don't you trust the players you have? The players who brought us to this point? Are you serious, Herr Rolf? Do you expect me to fight a relegation battle with these players? No, no, no. I don't expect you to fight a relegation battle. I expect you to stay out of the relegation battle. Ha 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 ha! Marcus Albeck couldn't believe what he had just been told, and he honestly didn't know what to do. Was he going to resign straight away and leave this sinking ship and its mad captain, or clench his fists and work harder than he ever had before? He stood up and silently looked over the desk at the giggling Herr Rolf. He quickly turned around and walked out of the office. As he walked down the corridor, followed by the echoes of, of, of Herr Rolf's laughter, he asked himself if he had really made a wise choice to stay and fight. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Swedish Mafia, the FM20 adventure where we try to take Hansa Rostock back to the Bundesliga and once we get there we will try to recreate a historic feat where six Swedish players featured in the starting 11 when Hansa Rostock won in 2003. Uh, Herr Rolf, the owner of Hansa Rostock, didn't really offer manager Marcus Albeck any money despite reaching the second Bundesliga. Uh, which has meant that the initial plan of signing promising Swedes has <laughs> had to hit the bin. Uh, last season we sort of uh, scoured the uh, bargain bin for players. Uh, this season the bargain bin players have been too bad. We have actually had to resort to the recycling bin. And what I mean by that I'm going to show you in a second. Firstly just look at this money or this lack of money the transfer budget is 19k and the wage budget is 100k uh, we have made a few signings and you might recognize a few of them but they are certainly not young and they are certainly not promising and they are certainly not swedish okay this is not a retirement home this is our signings first of all michael sen the 37 year old Ghanaian, 59 caps as experienced as they come and as slow as they get. He is actually improving slightly through our training, but I think that's mostly down to the fact that he has spent the last few years in Indonesia and Azerbaijan, where he probably haven't trained at all. Uh, he will serve a backup option for us. And this player, Jefferson Farfan, is still good. His Physicals are declining quite rapidly now, but he can hopefully get the ball into the goal on more than one occasion. We can use him both out on the right and as a striker. I am actually quite satisfied with getting him in, even though he is by far the most expensive player we have. I mean, wage-wise. Hatton Ben Arthur is really good with the ball. Uh, not the best mentals, but I guess you know that if you have seen him play or if you've had him in your team he is brilliant when it comes to the attacking part of the game not so much when it comes to the actual physical part of it or even trying to work for your team but i think we could afford one or two players like this if the rest of the team are ready to do a bit of more work lee catamol he will surely carry the weight that hatton banafa leaves and he does everything that Ben Arthur doesn't. He marks, he tackles, he runs, and he runs, and he runs. He is the new team captain. Uh, I don't think we will get many points from him, but we will get a full work 
game in and game out. I'm satisfied with this one as well. He came in from Venlo for free and not that expensive. Then we had to strengthen the central defense. We found this guy, Kostadin Gancharlov. Uh, he is not exciting in any way, but I don't need my central defenders to be exciting. I need them to be steady. And this is a steady, solid player for this level. So I'm pleased with that as well. Nice bit of bravery, bit of aggression. Not too slow, even though it's not fast. He has a heading marking tackling over 12. So uh, seems like a decent player for us. He can play next to our Swedish Ghanaian central defender. I'll show you in a minute. And finally, we have Usman Mane, uh, a large guy. We needed a large guy up front. Uh, he is not going to replace Pascal Bayer. Uh, I'm going to use this guy for certain games, for certain match scenarios, but I'm still satisfied with having him in. Uh, these are the players in. Out, we lost Young Bad Flag. We also lost Nico Neidhart and Khalid Abdo, who he was Swedish, but he was pretty poor as well. And then we also lost a few, well, more than a few released players. Tobias Weiss, Alexander Farnerud, who was always injured, and Dirk Orlishausen, they all retired. And then we had a few players who wanted too much money for their quality, so we let them go as well. We have gotten through quite a brief preseason where we went up to the mountains and played two fairly underwhelming games against Neubrandenburg and René Schneider. And then we really took on a beast in the final friendly where we lost at home to Belgian giants under Lecht. If we look at the Bundesliga predictions, they are exactly like we thought they would be. We are predicted to finish 17th, only have Würzburg who were promoted with us behind us, not a single player in the immediate Dream 11 that features such great players as Joshua Van Noman, uh, Robin Quaison, Levin Ostenali. So the Zweite Bundesliga, they do have some really, really good players. The aim of this season is to just remain, <laughs> not get relegated because then we will get money. If we finish in 15th place, which is the first position where you are secure of not getting relegated, we would get 7 million, which would be massive for us and give us a chance to start rebuilding, start building that Swedish Mafia. The squad looks like this. It's quite a small squad, uh, lacks a bit of depth, but at least we have two goalkeepers. They are the same as last season. Alexander Zerbalt, Marcus Kolke. Central defenders, new Gajalo that I showed you. Sven Zonenberg is decent. Joseph Baffo, our Swedish Ghanaian central defender, is probably our first choice this season as well. Marcus Thord Bjornsson, very unexciting but cheap Swede who can work as our last resort option. Julian Riedel can play up on the right. Adam Streit can also go up on the right. Nils Butzen on the right. And Lucas Scherf on the left. Uh, decent, not very exciting. Then central midfield we have Michael Essien who will work as a backup option for a measly 500 pounds a week. Lee Catamol, he will run and run and run. On this board he will just stand there with this beautiful mullet this year as well. Jefferson Farfan provides a bit of attacking quality for us. Pascal Bayer is still here, hopefully banging in the goals. Nick Omladic can play on the left, can play on the right. One or two players that are going to be allowed a bit more creative freedom. The other one is, of course, Hatton Ben Arfa. We also have Elsa Medremai, who was away on loan last season, sort of a backup option. Corbinian Volman, actually a fairly decent player, will get his few minutes this season. And upfront options, Eric Engelhardt, John Verhoek and Usman Mane. That's the team. It lacks exciting players, but hopefully we can pose a decent threat. So this is the team we are going with in our first game of Schweiter Bundesliga at home against Wiesbaden. Kolke in goal, 
Lucas Scherf, our only left back on the left. Bafo, Kajala as central defenders. Nils Butsen out on the right. In front of him, just like last season, Omladic, who can hopefully get us goals and assists. Then we have old but solid central midfielders, Michael Ezian and Lee Catamol. Ben Arfa with a bit of a free rollout on the left. And then Pascal Bayer up front and slightly behind him we have Jefferson Farfan. We're going to the first game. I'm a bit nervous. Wish me luck. We start the game off straight away with a ball. Could this be an early highlight for us? Gonzalo points Bafo. Long ball out to Omladic. He will be an important player this season as well. Can he get around this man? He can. He gets it into the box. Pascal Bayer, that was close. It would have been the perfect start with a 1-0 lead. Nice bit of magic there from Omladic beating his man. I hope that he can do that over and over and over again this season. We will surely need it if we are going to stay up. Scherf, I thought I was going to lose that one when he gets it to Asian. Katamol, he's not supposed to have the ball. He's supposed to win the ball. He gets it out to Omladic. Can he beat his man again? Yes, he can. He has a certain advantage over his man. He gets all the way into the box. We almost got the lead there again. For some reason the keeper lost the ball over the line, so here's a corner. Paya! I'm actually a bit encouraged by this start. We are looking much better than they are stats-wise, and on the pitch we have looked decent as well. Calm and confident with the ball. Here's Omladic again. Can he square it? He gets it back to Butsen. And that must surely be offside. It is not offside. It's offside. Oh. I got my hopes up. But then it was offside. Okay. Not by a mile. But it's still an offside. But we have looked solid so far. We've had solid games before. Where we have lost. So hopefully we will get rewarded with a goal or two. Before the... FM gods spilled their wrath on us. As the enter Katamol gets the ball to Omladic, we've seen that previously in this game. Oh, that's close from Katamol. We should have played on this board. He would have scored from there. Is this going to be their first highlight or will we win this one back? They are playing it around. Is this the first time they've had the ball under control so far? I think so. We are chasing them down. Where is Katamol? Can he win this? No, that's Scheffler unmarked. I'd be devastated if this results in a goal. Rivero, he misses. Thank God for that. That means that I don't have to throw my computer out the window. Could this be another chance for us? We have had a really solid first half. I just wish that we could have a goal as well to crown it. Butcher the Catamount. I don't want Catamount having the ball. He's not made any mistakes yet, but every time he gets it in central midfield, I get nervous. What can Banafa do? Wave that magic wand. He gets it into Omladic. Oh, we've had so many decent chances. Why are you not converting them? But I do feel satisfied with our wingers, Omladic and Panafa, I think they are too good for this division. I just wish we had players that could convert as well. I'm going to tell them I'm not happy. They love that as usual. The tough love works wonders. Hopefully we can score as well. They get into Scheffler again, but we win it. Scherf, Gajalo, Debutsen. Can we find Omladic? That's not Omladic, that's Keeper Kolke. Katamol, good. Perhaps I can stop being nervous every time Katamol has the ball. I think he's got a passing percentage of 100. Omladic, yes, we are one it up. The crucial first goal and who scores it? If it is sent, Nick Omladic and Ben Arthur with the assist. 
as I was saying earlier, the wingers will probably be the least of our troubles. That's a beautiful ball. He gets the ball down and I don't know what the keeper is doing, but we just say thank you and we're 1-0 up. And if you look at that beautiful league table in the bottom left, we are top of the league. Omladic with the ball again, finds Jefferson Farfan back to Omladic and it's 2-0. And it doesn't appear to be offside, I was scared of that, but we are actually 2-0 up, we are looking marvellous. Beautiful ball to Omladic, Farfan, 1-2. Omladic, he is cool as a cucumber. We are loving this. We are absolutely loving this. The players look like cows that has been put out to pasture. And I mean that in a good way. We are making a tactical change. I want to get Usman and Mane. He cannot head the ball, but at least he has a fantastic jumping reach and he is, is 190 centimeters tall. So in theory, at least we could hit his head with the ball. We are getting loads of crosses in, so hopefully we can take advantage of him up front. Omladic again. What a man of match performance this is. Mane is through and he scores. That is not his head. That is his foot. And we are 3-0 up. We are crushing them. I am finally stopping breathing heavily. My nerves are calming down. Perhaps life in the Zweite Bundesliga isn't going to be that hard after all. At least not if the opposition keepers are going to be this bad. I'm not even going to bother to make any tactical changes. We are just making a few substitutions. Anyone tired? Omnidic is tired. We will get him off and he can have a standing ovation leaving the pitch. And then we will also bring in Sonnenberg instead of Beffo who's got the yellow card. These are our two final subs. And I feel confident. Omladic, Katamo, look at all these guys. They have the potential of becoming true legends. Ben Arfa, work your magic. He just runs with it. They don't even close him down because they know that is pointless. They close Butson down instead, but he gets the ball to Sien to Catamol, who is a proper deep lying playmaker or a guy. This is proper Barcelona. We are better than Barcelona. No, I think I might be getting a bit carried away. It's not by Munich we are playing, it's Wiesbaden, but still, I couldn't even have dreamed of us leading or winning 3 0 in the first game of the season. Not with this sort of ragtag bunch of players. No decent signings, no money. Mane is through. Who needs money when we've got Mane? That is going to be a fan favourite chant. He's going to come up with a melody for that. But the lyric is astounding. Who needs money when we've got Mane? Catamol is doing Catamol stuff. Trying to get himself sent off. He tries again, but the the referee just won't give him that red card that he so desperately wants. And Daniel Coffey Curé scores. I do think we're still winning, but now the butterflies are back in my stomach. Benarfa, Catamol, even Catamol scores. This team is full of quality. They are old, but they are decent. Ben Arfa, perfect serve to Catamo, who is not fast enough to get away from the ball. It touches his shin and it goes in. One final chance, will we make this a complete humiliation? Ben Arfa to Farfan, to Mane, they are 
playing some beautiful tiki taka Mane to Volman and nothing that was a bit disappointing I didn't even have to raise my voice Volman is acting like a catamole they are influencing each other that's obvious Mane gets tired from running Gives it to Benalfa, gets it back, and he fires it from long range. Who needs money? Well, we've got Mane. We are winning 5-1. to one. I hope that I'm not dreaming. Ben Arthur with the assist again, but this time it's Mane who does most of the work. That is one fantastic finish, and Pascal Breyer is squirming on the bench a 5-1 win we are league leaders i'm even going to tell the players i'm happy with that they love that as well what a start to this season fantastic win we are playing Karlsruhe in the next game and then we have augsburg in the dfb pokal first round i think I will be back for this game. You have time to read up on the St. Pauli Hansa Rostock rivalry until then, because that will be Wednesday's episode. That is one fierce rivalry, and we are going away to St. Pauli. Hopefully, we'll have a few more points until then. But I'm really excited about this episode. I'm excited about this season. I am excited about our signings. I do appreciate you coming along this fantastic journey with me. I will see you soon. Thanks and bye. Hi, Miglinio FM here under my infamous flight of stairs. I really appreciate that you took the time to watch this episode that I had a lot of fun recording. I hope that you liked it and if you did, I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and gave me a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot. Uh, there are new episodes out on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and then we also have the occasional stream on Twitch on Tuesdays or Thursdays and during the weekend I have sort of a weekly summary uh, blog post coming out. Uh, I know it's an ambitious project but I'm having a lot of fun with it and I hope that you will too. Links are in the description and on michelinofm.com if you want more information and before I leave you I have a few words to say. You are appreciated, you are beautiful, and have a good day. Until I see you next time, auf Wiedersehen.